Hello friends, this is tutorial number 18 in this Turbo Pascal programming language tutorials. In this tutorial we will gonna talk about some operations that we can do with, uh, with uh, variables or and uh, let's uh, let's uh, write one variable it will be x and it will be a real number and let's begin and we will write write line we will first first we need to write a variable x will be equals to it can be 16 uh, it's a real number, but we will we will uh, will be 16, and we will simply write a square of uh, x, and we need uh, another bracket, okay, and we will simply read the line and and dot. And uh, let's run the application. Okay, uh, we forgot it's a real number. We will write, but we cannot write here. We will write if we write here, it will not. It will not give us the 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 result. Uh, we need to write uh, after closing bracket. Sorry. Okay, it will be with two decimals and let's let's run and As you can see we we will get a 256 it's uh, It is a, a 16 uh, Multiplied with 16 and we uh, we get a square of number X which is 256 uh, Okay, and now uh, uh, Okay, we we will not delete, we will comment as I told you in the we can simply use star and bracket and star and closing bracket but we also we also can use curly braces uh, let's start okay uh, okay and with curly curly braces we don't need this star we can also you you can choose whatever you want if, if we use brackets with star or curly br braces it's up to you okay and now uh, we can let's write we will write right line squared of an of x and we need another closing bracket and uh, let's run okay uh, we forgot again it needs to be uh, four four and number two okay and we will get number number four uh, okay, we we know how to calculate square, how to calculate squared, and also now uh, let's I will put closing bracket, uh, closing uh, clo closing curly brace uh, here, and now uh, what we want to do uh, first I want we will change we will change but we will change it here x uh, x will be equal to 16.7 okay and we will write line first we will uh, we will write uh, trunk trunk x okay now we will not use uh, we will not use decimals and we will see what we're gonna do. This this trunk will uh, uh, it will left us only a integer. Okay, this 0.7 will will disappear. Uh, okay, and let's run. Okay, as you can see, it's number 16, and it will also gonna do the same if we have if we have a negative number uh, and. If we run, it will be minus 16. 
this trunk will uh, will delete this uh, with this it will left us only a integer it will delete all decimals inside whatever it can be 16.9 uh, if it is 16.9 will be the same and if it is 16.1 uh okay as you can see it will be 16 now let's uh, let's uh, clear this a little okay and we can comment we know how to use a trunk okay and now uh, we want to uh, write line uh to write a line uh uh, okay, we can use a round round x and we need another closing bracket okay uh, this uh, when we run here if we will get minus 16 uh, because it is it will give us it is the same uh, uh, you in, in the when you first time see it, we you will not see the difference between trunk and square but if we are using 16.8 uh, what we will get it will be it will be minus 70 because it is because it will give us the the closest uh, closest uh, the closest integer okay if it is uh, and it if it will be 16.5 it will be 17 okay from uh, from uh, 0 to uh, if we have a 0 it will be it will be 16 the the limit is 0 0.4 uh, 0 0.4 it will give us 16 as you can see uh, it will give us it will give us the closest integer and that's the difference the round will only uh, delete decimals but uh, 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 trunk will delete the decimals, but round will also delete decimals. But it will give us the the closest closest uh, uh, integer. Okay, I hope that you understand. Uh, it will it will be the same. And when we have when we have uh, 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 as you can see, uh, it is 16. If we have a, a positive number, and if we have a 16.5, it will give us it will give us 17. Okay. Uh, now let's let's clear this uh, door screen a little. Okay, and we can put curry brace uh, uh, curry brace closing curry brace here. Okay. Uh, what can we do else? Okay, we can put uh, uh, we can put uh, just a second. We will write line. Uh, we will use ABS. Uh, what is ABS? It will give us the absolute value. Okay, uh, and if we run this. Uh, and again, we forgot uh, because this is a real number. We will write 0 0.4, 0 0.2. Uh, let's let's run. Uh, okay, it will give us 16.50. Uh, but uh, it's a absolute value of this number. If we use, if we have minus, if we have a negative number, and let's. Uh, let's clear and let's run again okay we will get a 16.5 because it will give us the absolute value uh, it is uh, the number will be the same it will be 16.5 no matter if it is positive or negative this is the absolute value of this number okay uh, okay we can we can close this uh, uh, and we can put it here uh, what can we do else okay we can uh, we can uh, uh, if you are working uh, with uh, Matt uh, uh, you can uh, of course you can uh, uh, count you can cal calculate a sinus uh, of uh, 
of x, uh, point 0.4, point 0.2, we will uh, calculate it with two decimals so, and we need a closing bracket. Okay, uh, and if we run it, okay, uh, we will get 0 0.71. Uh, I usually don't use this too much, but if you are working with math, uh, you can use also uh, cosinus and or fix, and we will get 0 0.4, 0 0.2 with two decimals. Uh, okay, uh, let me let's put closing bracket here. Okay, here it is, and let's run. Okay, uh, you. Uh, this is a, a cosinus of uh, of uh, of this of this uh, of fix. Uh, just wanted to show you that you can use it also uh, if you're working with math. Uh, uh, you 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 will use it for sure. Okay. And uh, I hope that you understand this. Now we can, okay, we can, we will stay as it is. Uh, this is the, the met operation, but this uh, square, squared, trunk, round, ABS, uh, for sure we will using, uh, why not? We can use sinus or cosinus uh, to, to in uh, working with Pascal. I really hope, just wanted to give you quick introduction about these operations and I really hope that you like this video. If you if you like this video, uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You have a link in the description and I will see you in the next tutorial.